What's up everybody, Icebreaker here. I am on my Smoky Assassin account because it is day three of GBA week. And today we've got another new ability that we're gonna take a look at and I'll show you what it's all about. Let's do it. Okay guys, when you open up your gunboat and you see this screen, it says limited time, extra ability, and it's got the symbol there for the crystal shield projector. As you can see, it says shield hit points 500 and the duration for eight seconds. Now, the hit points, the shield, the way it works is you throw it at your troops and it protects them the same as what um, Cavern's ice shield does. So it's basically the same ability as <coughs> Cavern's second ability cool thing about this is even though it says there's 500 hit points to it it also negates any extra damage as well so if you just put the shield down and it's got 500 hit points on it and you get shot at by a boom cannon that does a thousand damage say it's shooting a heavy for example the first 500 hit points will kill the shield and the second 500 hit points that's left over from that shot is negated it's lost it doesn't get applied to your troops um, so that's a really cool feature. It means that a boom cannon or any defense um, is impossible to one shot your troops when you've got the crystal shield active on them. Okay, let's jump into an attack and let's see how it works. So I'm gonna go with warriors, I'm just gonna clear the mines and then drop our troops like we do normally. I'm gonna put them up onto this cannon. And then I'm just gonna flare the HQ because it's nice and close to the beach. Now, you don't wanna be throwing this out too soon because if you throw it too soon, it will run out before it's had use, um, before the you know, defenses and that get a chance to even go at it. So throw your shots first and then your crystal shield just as the, just as the uh, smoke expires on your troops. And you can see there that they've got the nice little shields around them. Looks really cool. And like I said, whilst that's active, it's impossible for your troops to be one shot or if they step on a boom mine whilst they've got the shield on, um, they can't be killed with one hit, which is really useful. You can see my instant training has died on this account. So I'll just give you a quick rundown of a couple of troop loadouts that would work really well with this. Um, the obvious one is RZCM, rifles, cryos, zookas and medics, obviously using it on your rifles and stuff, help protect them. They'll be able to walk over mines and stuff while, while the shield's active. It means your rifles will stay in the battle for longer. Um, it also applies to critters too. You can protect critters with it. Um, all Grens, it worked well with. Tanks, really it worked well with any troop loadout you can think of, to be fair. Um, there's no downsides to it like, um, like there is like with speed serum and stuff. You're safe to um, let it rip whenever you want. It's really, you know, it's especially useful when, um, say you're using tanks and the tanks are spreading out a little bit. You see a boom cannon turn, you know it's gonna sh one shot one of your tanks or your tanks on its last legs anyway. Popping it with the shield really quick before the boom cannon can take the shot will keep that troop alive and keep them in the fight for a few minutes longer. Enough time maybe to get some critters down or a shock, you know, whatever you need, whatever you need. But that's crystal shield, guys. It is quite a simple one, but it is good. It's, uh, it's definitely worth using, unlike some of the um, other abilities that we um, get from time to time. So have a go, guys. Check out the videos on the screen now to the left and hit that subscribe button. Catch you next time, guys. Bye.